beast, didn't they? Chuffed to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrate on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boat. Called him mullet. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Did you let go of it? It was, a really good it was a good bite as well, wasn't it? But I was mucking around with cameras. The um, but more to the point, is there a bait still on there? Yeah, look at my rod. Is yours going there as well? Yeah, well, look at that. Within minutes of each other as yeah. well. Here we go. Look, look. I'm gonna have to check the bait on this, regardless, because right. is there still a bait there? Hello and welcome to the channel. I've got one rod in the water, and I'm fishing. And I'm fishing with a two pound weight on it, so it's quite difficult at the moment. And where am I? I'm on board Thresher with Wayne Combin. And what are we fishing for? <laughs> Don't know at the moment. It's been dire in the Solent. It's been an absolute nightmare for many, many people. Um, very quiet, but look at, this, look at the situation we're in now. Light winds, in fact, I don't even think there is a wind, is there? No winds, calm seas. Absolutely beautiful out here. We're fishing one of Wayne's favourite grounds, one of his favourite areas, and we'll see how it goes. All excited. I'd love something with teeth. I don't want anything with slime. And the bigger the better. <laughs> Would that be fair to say? <laughs> yeah, it's only yeah, yeah. Some nice fish here at times. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. So it's nice to be invited out and be a passenger on someone else's boat for a couple of reasons. You learn loads. You see how someone else does something that, exactly the same as you do, but you see them do it slightly differently. Um, you learn all their little tricks and all their little tips. And it's nice to experience a different boat. And then you can either appreciate or question what you've got. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good stuff. Really exciting. Looking forward to it. It's the start of the session. Tide's a little bit strong, but it's easing off. And when we say it's easing off, we've been struggling to hold bottom or fish properly. And within seconds of my rod just going then, Wayne's rod went as well. So we've had no bites at all. And then both rods went within, within a minute or so of each other. And we'll see how it goes. It's good stuff. Yeah, well, as Mark said, where we are is a, a huge tide run, and we're on one of the smallest tides of the year, and it still runs hard. What tends to be is uh, you get the last couple of hours of ebb, a little bit of the slack, and then the first hour of flood fishing here. We've come here a bit early, and, and the tide is running a bit hard, but if you've got two, but no one wants to fish with two pound of lead, let's face it. But we've got two pound of lead on, so at least we've, we're on the bottom. And, yeah, first hour was quiet, as Mark said, but we've had a few, well, Mark had a banging bite a moment ago. Um, so hopefully it's going to start uh, picking up from now onwards. And I was fiddling around with the camera, so I missed it. <laughs> that was literally, if anyone ever wants to know, do you miss fish when you're trying to film? And they say, yeah, you do. Because if I'd have lifted into that, I'm pretty confident I might have been able to pick that one up. But I was too busy switching on cameras and mucking around. When the tide heat starts easing, the boats come on. Definitely. And uh, all it was, we were here just slightly too early. We were balling through. You don't get as much when that's happening. But, but that's a reasonable fish, whatever it is. I'm not going to call it. I normally like, you know, yeah. over the years, you, you try to call what fish you can I was do. just about to ask, what do you reckon? I was terrible for it. Always go, always try to call it. But um, this particular ground we're on, I don't like to call stuff because you don't know what's going to come up. You don't know. But that's the beauty of sea fishing, isn't it? It is. There's monsters down there and you don't know what might be on the back end. I mean, this for instance, this is hanging deep. This hasn't gone back in the tide. No. This is this is underneath the boat. So that says to me a swimming fish, not an eel. I'll start calling it and then we'll see how far out I am. If I was winter fishing, I'd call it as a cod. 
I don't think I'm lucky enough to have a cod this time of year here. No. But he's got that sort of sluggish. It's giving you a bit of a scrap. Yeah, it's staying down, straight up and down, and it's not, it's not as ag um, aggressive enough to be conger like. For an eel, no. So. Or a significant size deal. Yeah. Plus, it would have been sparring and up in the tide by now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, us don't tend to fight much. They come up a little bit easy. Um, oh, not gonna call it. I want to see it? This is one you want to see. The last <laughs> thing you want is. Because it's got you, got you second guessing. Could be a hound, uh, not a hound, a, um, a spur. Spur. I found they they fight in all different ways, sounds. I've had uh, spurs rather, I've had them. I'm more, off. I'm more interested in what's happening with your other rod because that's slacked. Well, there's a possibility that somewhere along the line. You might have. I might have hooked my other line, but uh, there is. But that. that's too far out there now to be in, in with that. Hmm. But I would suggest that if. Well, maybe it might, it might have been, you never know. One thing I can categorically say is not a doggy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's, oh, it's a big Oh, one. that is a Ooh. big. We need the net. Yeah, that's a lump of a spur dog. It's what we're coming for, let's face it. There you go, bud. Oh, that's a nice spur dog. Ooh. Let's get it on there. Oh, that's a, that's a big spur dog. That is a big it one, man. Yeah, it has got, that's where the slack came. Yeah. Come on, you. Play the game. Oh, well done. It's absolutely stunning, mate. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. That's a nice, big, heavy female spur dog. Well done, buddy. And normally I'd weigh her, but I'll tell you what, she is... She's a high double. She's a high double. Have her back in, mate. There you go. So we'll spear her and she will go straight back in. And away. And there you go. Cool. She went, she didn't hang around. Yeah, I'm in. And that's not a dogfish. Good man. Oh, Good man. no, look. <laughs> that's not a doggy. Oh, cool. Mate, is that an eel? The way that's going. Don't tell me the first thing I'll get today and it's going to be an eel. There are eels around this. But that, whatever it is, it's a big one. Look at that. Oh, I can't get any line on it at the moment. Yeah, that's... Oh, mate. <laughs> Let's just hope that other rod don't go now. This is more I'm going down to one rod. <laughs> this is not worth this. Oh, it's taking line. <clears throat> it's a bit of a chunk. <clears throat> I was going to say it's about time you joined in. I was going to say, yeah, a bit late to the party. <laughs> but I have, I have turned up with a six pack. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Yeah, it's taking, it's taking some line. Bear in mind my biggest deal was that last one that you saw. Yes. It was about 20, I think, didn't we say, I think? I can't remember. About, about 20, yeah. yeah. It, was. it was only a guesstimate, wasn't it? Yeah. Nothing hard and fast. Well, if you don't weigh them, then, then it is your guess. You can be pretty accurate with you if you caught enough fish. I think you've seen enough of them to yeah. you, to you, be able to tell. Be, uh, Look at that! Look. Well, within that ball. Oh, right? mate. What I might do is, I'll, I'll, once oh, I get yeah. it out, I might walk it round, or just lift that rod over. Yeah. I'll lift that rod over. I think. Well, if you get it close enough for me to get to get her in by a tail, I'll, I'll just bring just, it up here. I'll quickly get her in support as best I can, and. Okay, from here. Yeah, so, uh, yes. Oh, it's an eel. It's a big eel. <laughs> it looks like quite a big eel, actually. Oh, try and take line. Maybe I won't get it in and after all. <laughs> God, that's a bit of a chunk, that. It's actually, look at that. Mate, that's my PB eel, that. Look at the size of that. 
He's got some battle scars in that one. Old, old fighter in here. He's got to be uh... Look at the head on it. He's a bit of an old war horse, that one. Look. But that's a fair chunk as well, isn't it, that one? Yeah, he never really does them justice film them. I've always said this. We, what we see doesn't show on, on the no. camera. I've always Ooh. said, if I put my hand alongside it... First got the, the trace on it. Let's get the weight off first and foremost. And some of his teeth out. Yeah, if I get a bit of perspective, he's a one-eyed devil here, mate, as well. Yeah, he's been in the wars, that one, hasn't he? And there he is with some curve of my hand. A big old welding glove on there, but... Yeah, he's a fair chunk. A fat boy. Right in the corner of the lip there as well. Ready for me to pick him up? Yes, mate. Yeah, let him go. And he's away. Cheers, buddy. Don't know he's uh, not up yet. Yeah, he's not <laughs> He's just backing down the tide, look. You yeah. can actually see him backing away. You don't know. You watch him in a minute. He'll slap that towel, look, when he realises. Just like that. There he goes. <laughs> Let's have a look at what's just happened there. Looks like the bait slipped. Yeah, look at the state of that. Someone's had a right old go at that. I don't know, you know. You know. You've got a few... Yeah. Oh, yeah, something yeah. going on there. Nothing dramatic, mind. Oh, yeah. No, no, this one wants to go back to the bottom. There's not one there, really. Oh, he's on, I think, maybe. Oh, I think he's on. Well, that's all doggy, maybe even. Do you think? Mm, yeah, that's like you're saying. Not, not doing anything. I don't think. Well, this one's got some weight to it, but uh, like you say, because there's so much variation. Oh, you got a what's strap. that? A strappy. This that's what might that's what this might be. To be honest, the way it's jagging around, but it's not coming up easy. Yeah, he's a big. Oh, he's a big hill. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. This one. <laughs> that is a big hill. Look at the size of that! So you should, you've got every chance of 50 pound eels here, that's for sure. That... I've had, I've that had look at the years. size of that! <laughs> he's, a, that he's a beast! Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a nice chunk. <laughs> Just make sure you don't snag me other line. Yeah, I'll give you a... Yeah, I'll give, give you a 35 for him, maybe. He's a, he'll be a bit bigger than they look, always. Yeah, I just need to catch something other than, a, than an eel. Look at him spin. Yeah. Let me know when you want me to do the honours. Yes, mate, yeah, just let go. I'll just quickly get that weight off. Well, basically, again, we'll do the same thing again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Giving your boat a bit of a kick in. Yeah, I'll, uh, I mean, look, look, look that's, a, that's a fair fish, that. Put me hand there alongside him, a fish, look. Yeah, he's a big size. Size of his head. And he was only just lip lip hooked in. Look at him go. Slap. Straight under the boat. That's why I like holding the rope because I can feel that chain. You can feel the chain go through, can't you? And then yeah. you can feel when it pinches up. Exactly. And that's that the time. Through and then now when you've got it in, and it's that long, <laughs> the long retrieve. Back. But that's still better than lifting. Do you swap, ever swap out your anchor for a rough ground anchor? Have you got a grapnel you use as well, or do you just use the... Um, Occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, I made the home main anchors out of... Uh, rebar? Not rebar, a uh, threaded bar. Yeah, okay. It's a bit easier, just drill a hole in a bit of scaffold tube. Yeah. Uh, put, the, put the threaded bar through, you know, lock it off with nylocks or something, and put a bend in it. There's no need for you to go to the gym this week, mate. And for people that haven't done the ordinary method before, that last bit where you feel the chain, because I do it on my boat as well, you can actually feel the chain going through the ring, can't you? And then as soon as the boy starts to bob and you feel it pull up solid. So the, the anchor will actually be set into that ordinary ring. Well, it was until it slack, but yeah. that's what's happened. There you go, it's yeah. out, which uh, yeah. we, we knew it occurred. Yeah. I do. Tide got the better of us at the last point. We um, as we turn on the turn from what was that ebb to flood, wasn't it? Yes, ebb, it was. Yeah, ebb to flood, um, and turned back on the anchor trip, and we started to move. 
and it was, was Wayne sort of thought about it and thought that by the time we re-anchored in the same position it was worth trying another position because although those fish were cracking from there um, a bit of variation don't hurt and trying somewhere else is even better so we've moved um, closer to home we sort of cut the bit of the distance back to home anchored again it's not quite as aggressive the flood here is not as much so I'm using nine ounce leads and holding weight now, uh, holding bottom now, as opposed to possibly needing two pound leads where we were. It's all a little bit quiet, all a little bit quiet. <laughs> but we're, we're living in hope. Wayne's had a couple of knocks on one of his rods and mine are a little bit quiet at the moment, but I've got quite big baits on. So I'm gonna go down a size in bait and I'm gonna swap onto a squid, try it. Cause I've got mackerel on at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. It's still a stunning day, but the wind's picked up a little bit now, actually. Afternoon, a bit of breeze. Plenty of ships around. Hope we don't get run over. Big ships as well. Sort of like a safe anchorage point here. Um, yeah, we'll get back to you if we get some more action. When we get some more action. Despite the change in fresh baits, it is really quiet. And it's no different to what's been reported by everyone else that I've spoken to. And when I say that, people have been out in the Solent over the weekend, not even called doggies. So, it is quiet. We've not had any bites. It's gone deathly quiet, hasn't it? I, have a, I had a dogfish. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, you had a doggy. <laughs> wow. But no, it's been real, real hard work. Uh, doggy in the boat. <laughs> is what it is. Unfortunately, it didn't quite pay off. Well, it, well, it did to a certain extent. I mean, uh, that was a really nice spur dog. That was a cracking spur dog. Um, it was it, a pleasure to see, to be honest. It was a nice fish. You've had PB eel, which, uh, yeah, a PB's always good. Yeah, it's good stuff. But it's been hard work. Um, maybe a bit, of, as you mentioned earlier, a bit of warm, warmer water yeah once temperature the temperature goes up it starts to warm up a little bit we'll uh, we'll hope that things will pick up the bream will start coming in but it's just been tough it's they call the end of february beginning of march the doldrums for a reason it's not unusual for it to be like this no so you spin the dice sometimes you win sometimes you don't yeah anyway, <laughs> so there you go. we've given it the five minute call we'll give it five more minutes in fact i'm going to start bringing one of my rods in um going to bring the kit in we're going to pack up we're going to have a tonk back um and that's it from us for today. So, it just leaves me to say, tight lines and happy fishing. Hope to spend some time with you again sometime soon. From me, from here, for now, it's goodbye. And see you goodbye, later, all. And goodbye from Wayne. Um, and we'll see you again sometime soon. Take care, goodbye.